okay. Um, so this one, it says, uh, Javier walks from his house to the zoo at a constant rate. Constant rate is a clue for a linear equation, right? When they say constant rate, they mean a linear equation. What's the formula for a linear equation? Y equals mx plus b. All right, cool. After walking uh, 0.7 miles, he meets his brother Ra Raul. Yeah, and they continue walking at a at the same constant rate. When they arrive at the zoo, Raul has walked for a half hour, or no, Javier has walked for a half hour, and Raul has walked for 0.2 hours. Okay, what is the rate in miles per hour at which both brothers walk? So what they're saying is they both walk the same distance. One person walked part of the way, then stopped, and then the other brother walked faster, and they they met up at the zoo at the same time. I think I think that's what this means. And then they want to know what was the rate okay well you get this equation set up like this where the rate was 0.2 r plus well let me back up what was the rate in miles per hour that both brothers walked so I were I said that wrong they walked different distances and they, but they walk the same rate. Okay. In other words, um, Javier walks from his house to the zoo at a constant rate after, which is R. After walking 0.75 miles, he meets his brother Raul. Raul was just kind of standing around or something. And they continue walking at the same constant rate. They walk together. When they arrive at the zoo, Javier has walked a half hour total and Raul has walked 0.2 hours so that's where the setup comes from and they want to know what is the rate R so we just got to solve this this is actually a um, ratio problem because um, you could you could write this as um, I'm trying to think of a good way to word this. Two point two is the same as two tenths, right? So let's let's talk about that. So if I say point two is equal to two over ten, right? And 0.5 is equal to 5 over 10. Now, I was just asked the question, what if they're the same denominator? Well, they are, aren't they? They're 10. But they, let's assume, and then the other question was, what if I use a bigger number, bigger than 10? So one of the things, this will always work. One of the things you could do is take the denominator from this one and multiply it by the de denominator from this one. So if you did that, you would say 10 times 10 is equal to 10 squared, which is what? 100. Now, the answer will be the same no matter what. But what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this whole thing by 100 just to see what happens. Well, what's going to happen is you're just going to have some big numbers. Um, You're going to have some big numbers, and that's okay. Man, I am really struggling with writing all this stuff down. Oh, also, this is 0.75. So the 0.75 is why we really need 100, because what's 0.75? At 75 over 100, right? So I need to keep that in mind, too. So that's why we multiply by 100. 
And even if we only multiply by 10, we'd have to multiply by 10 again because this times 10 uh, would have only been 7.5. So in other words, what's not fun about this are the decimals. So when I multiply this by 2, I could do this on my calculator, right? You just move the decimal two, two spaces to the right. But if I say 2 times 100, I'm going to get 20, okay? So that first one is going to be 20R. And then 100 times 0.75, it should be 75. But you know what? Let's double check just to make sure. So 0.75 times 100 is 0.75. Or I'm sorry, 75. And then I'm actually multiplying by 100. Why didn't you guys tell me? Remember, whatever you do on one side, you have to do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm a little scatterbrained today. So 100 times 0.5R is what? Do it on your calculator if you don't know. 0.5, I know it's 50, but I just want to show you guys how to do it. It's funny, whenever I do something like that, students will say, how can he teach us? He doesn't even know how to do basic math. Oh, I hate school. I hate Mr. Adams. Oh. Teenage angst. All right. So now, what's our next step? We need to get R equal to some stuff. I know the bell is going to ring in a couple minutes. Do not start putting your stuff away. We're almost done. Which R is bigger, 20 or 50? 50. So we're going to move the 20 by subtracting R, 20R. And when you subtract 20R from one side, you got to do the same thing to the other. That leaves you with 75 is equal to, what's 50 minus 20? Oh, 30. That's so weird. All right, now I'm going to divide by 30 on both sides to get rid of the 30. These will cancel. So I get 75 divided by 30, right? You're still going to get a decimal answer. Um, I think it's 2.5. Let's see. 75 divided by 30. Yep, 2.5. So they were they were walking 2.5 miles per hour. Oh. Okay. And that's it. Are there any questions on that one?